Can they can they rent for one week before buy? Yeah. So rent can try it. Like yeah. uh, if like it, uh, no like, come back, rent another one. Sure. If they like that one, then they can buy that one. Yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. Today I'm going to take you on a little bit of a used bike shopping tour here in Pattaya. We're, we're in South Pattaya right now, getting ready to turn left up here on Pattaya Thai. But um, yeah, I've had a lot, of, a lot of requests lately, seems like, about used bike shops. Where can you buy used? Um, there's a lot of places to buy used. And probably one of your best resources is just like some of the websites uh facebook marketplace maybe bot sold even craigslist be a little cautious there especially if they want you to send money somewhere but uh, there are brick and mortar places you can go and 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 look at bikes and you know you might even be able to test ride them or at least put hands on them and kind of compare and contrast so we're gonna go on a little bit of a tour I'll show you where to buy some different kinds of bikes small ones big ones medium ones a little bit of everything so pulling up to the first place right here but it looks like they're empty we'll find out about that a couple first place I came to <laughs> they usually have a full thing here it's all empty There's some bikes out in the lot I'll go in and ask but we're on Pattaya Thai right by the uh, Kawasaki Mithyan service center and they also sell, one of the big things they sell here is the side carts. Uh, like you see a lot of the vendors, but they also have them for, with seats. So if you wanted like a, a motorbike with seats, with, you could sit three, four, maybe five, six <laughs> people. You can get that here, at least the cart. And they sell them, but I don't know if they're out of business or they're just in a slowdown. But let me go in here and ask around and I'll tell you what the scoop is. Somebody call Yeah, so she said they moved down the street to the big other Mithyan place I took you through. Um, I don't know, a month or so ago we went through their new bike. She said they've moved used bikes down there. We'll stop in there real quick while we're here and see what's, see what's crack a lacking. Uh, it makes sense. This is all Mithyan anyway. And I think they're gonna have more traffic flow down there, so why not move the secondhand bikes down there? It was mo mainly scooters anyway, but the side carts I thought was interesting. So you might want one of those. So yeah, here we are just a couple blocks down the road by the big uh, Mithyan new showroom where they have a mixture of bikes, all the manufacturers, but that's across the street there. But right here on this little corner, they've got their used ones. They've moved them down from, from where we just were. So this is mainly gonna be uh, smaller type scooters and things like that but if that's what you're looking for that's what they got and they have they have some on the kind of medium sized or medium to large size some 150 cc's and things like that so definitely worth a look it's right in town here and you can see they all come with license plates and one of the good things about buying a used bike is you don't have to ride around with a red license plate and wait months on end to get your license plates you can they can switch the green book that usually might only take a couple weeks so here's one of those side carts i was telling you about with the seating and of course depending how big the passengers are you might be able to get three four five people in there so this rig right here i believe this this side cart's all new it's a used bike looks like a honda wave or something on there so i'll get a price on that but you can buy that whole rig and you know carry the whole family in there or or whoever for that matter but uh there's the there's the price list right there. She's gonna break it all down for you. There you go, fifty four thousand. Uh, I don't know what's that about eighteen hundred dollars, something like that. You could seat like five people. They moved all the bikes from Patia Thai up to here, so they've got the used scooters right up here instead of down there. Nothing really big here, but if you're just in town looking for a small bike or a sidecar, this is where you come. Right next to the the big uh, Mithyan new shop that we went through, I guess we went through there a month or so ago, and they've got all the new models. So you can see the new and the used right here. Uh, but that's just one, we'll go look at some bigger ones next. So come on, let's go. Yeah, this next one is one of my, my favorites for the for the used secondhand bike sector because I, I, think, they're, I think their inventory more reflects uh, what what a lot of the people the expats living here want but it's all the problem is it's all the way over on the dark side it's way down siam country club road uh, 
I usually there's a plethora of ways to get here, but if you just go down there and turn right on on Soy 22, Porn Pranam at 22, you'll end up here. And easy to ride by this place, a little bit nondescript, but they usually have a couple things sitting outside. There's their sign, PJ Trading Shop, and they do sales and rentals. I'll we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go. So this one has a pretty good selection. Medium-sized bikes, some small scooters, medium-sized bikes. I sent a lot of people here. If they message me directly, it's usually where I send them. They also do a good job titling the bike and transferring the name to you. And, uh, and they have a decent selection. They have kind of the bikes that the expat market is looking at. Some of the big scooters, the large, extra large scooters, and some of the kind of smaller big bikes, I guess. So yeah, here again, they do a pretty good job updating their, their Facebook page with their inventory. There's a CB300 right there as soon as you walk in. Um, so before you make a trip out here, there's a, there's a BMW 310, little adventure bike. So before you ride all the way out here, you can also check their Facebook page and see if they have something that you might be interested in. A bit more than $4,000 uh, for a BMW 310. Nice little entry level adventure bike. <clears throat> Single cylinder, 310cc. There's a big old Forza there, Forza 300, 68,000, so about a little over $2,000. <coughs> uh, that's a nice little 150 for 50,000. <coughs> KTM Duke, that's probably a 200, let's see. KTM Duke 250 for 70,000, can't go wrong with that. KTM's a, a, a very, very nice vehicle. So there you go, they've got them all clearly marked for prices. The thing, they might let you rent it for a week before you buy it. Huh? I'll ask the lady. Can they, can they rent for one week before buying? Yeah. So rent can try it, like, yeah. uh, if like it, uh, no like, come back, rent another one. Yeah. If they like that one, then they can buy that one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah so that's what you do. Uh, not many places will do that, so that's why I send people here. Uh, nice little bike for 50000 M5. They even have a Bergman. A Bergman. Out Sea on Country Club Road, turn right on Port Crown at 22. And there you go. They've always got a collection of at least a dozen or so bikes. And you can rent them for So that's a rent sale PJ Trading. Show you the sign again. Yeah. All right, let's go and see what's next. Yeah, I kind of want to show you where to buy everything. We just looked at two places to get scooters, the second and maybe some bigger, larger scooters. But we're back on Sukhumvit Road now, and this guy right here, he's got some nice old bikes for sale. So if you want a bike like what I have, an old bike, but a good bike, right here they'll sell. They got a couple for sale right here. Uh, they also do repairs here. And I was referred to this shop, but I went to, I went, ended up going to the other one that I showed you, but um, just stop in here. They, they have random stuff for sale, including some of these, these old, hard to find Japanese bikes, like mine. They got two CB400s. So that's another option. Depends what you're looking for. Small scooter, big scooter, big bike, extra big bike. Vintage bike. <laughs> Depends what you're looking for. You can get it here. You just gotta know where to look. So uh, we got another stop to make. I um, think he's got some big bikes. So let's go down there. Right on Sukhumvit Road. It's only a minute down. Not even a minute down the road. So here we are at 168 Bike, right here on the left. And the big bike shopping scene is, especially used, is a little bit different than the rest. So behind me, 168 Bike. We'll go in a minute and see what they got. Small shop, you'll notice the bigger bike you go up, the less there is available. So you have to go farther. Scooters, one shop might have 10, 15 scooters to pick from. Big bikes, they might only have two, three, four, five, and so forth. So the hunt for big bikes is often a lot more difficult and you have to cover a lot more ground. I went to Bangkok and went to about five or six shops up there looking for uh, uh, my first big bike here, so. Um, 
I realize that it's not you're going to find the perfect thing right away, but there are some options here worth looking at. So that's what we'll do. Uh, so he doesn't have anything right here, but he's got a big selection in Bangkok that he can bring here. But 168 bike, you can look online, see something you like, come here, talk it over with him, and he can have it brought here from Bangkok. So maybe not the best option, but he does have some in here from time to time. I just thought I'd stop by. Yeah, truth of the matter is he doesn't have much room in here, but they have a big place in Bangkok. But here again, check their check their Facebook page, uh, see what they have in inventory. They've got some they've got some good deals on there. A couple of one in particular, I would I would even be interested in. But I'll show you what that looks like. This is their little advertisement. But they've got they do a pretty good job of keeping this up to date, and they'll have. They'll have uh, their bikes on here as they get them in, and then as they sell them, they usually take a picture of the guy or, or the person who, who's bought the bike, so you'll notice that as well. But there they are. Just uh, go through and see what they got. Now, you, you never know what you're going to He's got bikes on here well over a million. The one is two million bot. But there's a CT125 there for, what, 75000 That's about 20000 savings off new. It's practically a new a new a new bike so you never know what you're going to find it pays to look and it's so much easier to look online and then if you see something you're interested in maybe you can follow up this this i think is a great deal 119,000 for a 2018 tn6 uh tnt 600 he said i might be interested in that myself that's uh that's a that's a lot of bike for that little bit of money so anyway uh they're nice enough to do business with in here and they'll they'll help you along the way i'll show you what else they got give me cif so 96,000 for a CRF 250. <laughs> it's it's actually a good a good time for for bike sales. The prices are low. Everybody's selling. Nobody's buying. So. So yeah, I told you I would take you to find everything, and that includes Harley Davidson. So I did stop up here to Route 66 Motors on on Padia Klang, and he only had two two Harleys for sale. Uh, he tells me that the bottom is kind of dropped out of the Harley, the used, the older used Harley market ever since they opened the factory here. I guess you know when you can get a new one cheaper, the the old ones do take a hit in resale. But he's got a couple there. <laughs> So yeah, it's been about 24 hours since I left here yesterday, and looks like he's finished. He's got it all put put away back here, and let's see if it's leaking. Well, not really. So that's that's good news. I don't think it's leaking. Doesn't look like it's leaking. So we'll see. Huh? Finish all. Yes. Mo no more leak, nah. No more leak. Ah, okay. Okay. When you stop. When I stop. When you stop, you pop that. Like this. Like that. And when you ride, you like that. Oh. Ah, clear. So there you go, a couple options or alternatives, uh, depending on what style and then kind of bike you're looking for, that you can maybe uh, stop in and in, in and around Patia here and check. So, but uh, don't uh, discount the online shopping. Everything now is is online. There are there are many many more used bike shops, so they're out there. You can find a lot of them online. You can you can go to the the big kind of, kind of classified websites like Bot Sold at the Facebook Marketplace. You can do a lot of shopping there. So, anyway, is what it is. But this was this was requested. So there you go, a little tour of some used bike, secondhand bike shopping. So, anyway, for those of you who wanted it, there it is. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one off here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.